Hey everybody, it's the Wargaming Guy. Welcome back to the channel. Welcome back to Decisive Campaigns. This is, of course, the Ardennes Offensive. And just a little overview for you. By the way, I do have the uh, latest version of the game now. Not, no longer playing the beta. It loaded the save game just fine. And um, we'll uh, proceed from here. But I will be able to get updates and all that good stuff. So that's um, some very good news. So why don't we just come down, all the way down, 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 down to the Valley of Fatigue here and see what we've got happening. <sighs> yeah, we're going to have to... Boy, what I could use with some more infantry down here, huh? But I don't have it, so I'm going to have to figure out something because my southern flank is, like, wide open. And they will take advantage of that sooner or later. Unfortunately, I've also got like tons of people. So maybe the way, to, I'm sorry, excuse me. The way to solve that might be, okay. No, we're all right then because I forgot about these guys. I was just looking up here. All right, so we're doing pretty good down here. So although, <laughs> hello, there we go. So what do we got here? Hmm. Tell you what, let's do. Let's um. Or am I out of? Uh, no, I think I can. There we go. Let's throw in some more artillery just to soften him up, and then two hundred to one. Wow. Um, maybe we don't need those extras. I would say 31 to 1 is pretty good. Hold on. Let's just try this again. This is weird. Um, okay. I'll take it. Um, okay. Looks pretty good. So hopefully this guy should be able to just... No, really? 1 to 1? 3 to 1. All right. We'll take 3 to 1 odds. He retreated. Um, there you go. For those of you that like to pause and read all that good stuff over, um, that looks pretty good. So, shoot, he can't move now. And you probably, can you, uh, let's throw you in. This is ranged. I don't want ranged, but I guess that's what I'm getting. Uh, here. Yeah, we'll do that. All right. So, okay, so this is Baker. I'm assuming this is Baker. Oh, it's Team Baker. It's not just Baker Company. Um, I could attack from there, though, so that's not bad. Uh, what else have we got here? Let's just throw some of these in. There. I don't know why taking that out gives me three to one odds, but um, I got to say, there are things about the artillery and the, the attacking um, in this game that I don't quite understand, but... I guess that's fine because who needs to understand everything? Uh, see, look at that. Now it's two to one, which I still don't like. It's a little early to be that desperate. Um, let's throw you in and you in. And I'm still only getting two to one. That's not what I wanted to see happening. Um, bring you up for next time. We're going to probably... Oh, you can't move. You can. So can you. All right. We're going to push up here and see if maybe if I throw everything in but the kitchen sink, 
I still only get two to one on taking it. It's probably not the best idea I've had all day. But... Yeah, we, we pushed him back, so that's something. I could advance, but I don't like... Well, yeah, actually, that's fine. Um, yeah, let's... Well, this is ranged. I don't want ranged. Okay, so we'll... That's not too bad. We'll just let that go there. Now we've got this whole kind of situation over here where these guys are cut off. But as you can tell, it's not exactly the strongest um, strongest ring around a group of troops that I've ever seen. Um, let's move you up. Let's hit him. Three to one. One to one. See? What is that? I don't understand that. That is just weird to me. All right. He held his ground, though. Dang it. All right. Let's... No. No, no, no. No, no, no. No, no. Do not want ranged attack. I want regular... Well, hold on. If you bleh, 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 bleh. can you do ranged? Yeah. So let's just throw in. I wish these things were bigger so you could really get a feel. I don't want to mess with the SS for what you're doing here. That's the Volksgrenadier Regiment. Another regiment. Another battalion. No, I want like artillery. There. Hit him. Soften him up, maybe. Yeah, maybe a little. And now, ladies and germs. Oh, sheesh. Um, yeah, he should be gone. And I can't attack them. Ah, oh, that's too bad. That should be a pretty easy attack. I don't even know what's there. This is ranged, which I do not want. Really, I mean, I... Yes, think that. Six to one. Take it. And... Dang it, he held his ground, but... It's got to be weak by now. 200 green, 80 vets, 70 rear area. Yeah, these guys shouldn't be that hard to take. And did I? I don't think I threw you, but it's one to one odd, so not now. Not now. Um, meanwhile, I'll tell you what we will do right now. 500 to one? Wow. That's, uh, <laughs> that's, I would say that's pretty decisive. What is this? It's pack gun. All right. Um, there's going to be somebody there. No. All right, good. Hold on. We'll get there as soon as we can. Unfortunately, this guy will not be getting there very quickly, but that's all right. Um, do, 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 do. Really? You can't? How about you? You can. Um, there we go. That looks like artillery, and so does that. Let's throw that at it. Uh, okay. That's 26 to 1. That's 45 to 1. That's 43 to 1. I think 26 to 1 should really be sufficient. <laughs> I mean, you know. Come on. Um, so, let's drag you over here. Oh, we got some armor. Interesting. What do we got here? 
some uh, Greyhounds, M3s, one Stewart, and one M8. Okay. All right. I'm going to bring it down here. Why would he have to do that? Why? Oh, because that bridge is out. We need to fix that bridge somehow. How do we... I got to figure out how to do that. Um, then you're going here. Don't! Oh, the artillery hit him. You can go straight across and get hit. Ugh, that artillery stuff gets really annoying sometimes. 143 to 1. Golly. But that's how they stopped them. They, they slowed them down enough historically. I mean, that was the deal. What do we got here? 2 to 1. That's it? Uh -huh. No. We need more than that. How about if we... No, you're not going to be able to do anything either? Maybe I should just drive forward a little bit then. And that's not what I want. That's all you're going to get. Um, you guys aren't moving. You could. Let's pull you. Actually, let's put you right there. Take that little American hell blip out. Um, what happens if I... This is ranged. All right, if it's going to be ranged attack, then... Let's throw some good stuff in here. Just beat them up a little bit. So, yeah. All right, it should still beat them up a little. Um, that's ranged too. pull you up here um, what is that yeah that's what I thought that shouldn't be too bad or you know then again maybe it is <laughs> there we go 2 to 1 12 to 1 11 to 1. 12 to 1. I still... I would love to have that explained to me in really simple language because I'm a really simple guy. Um, where's... There's Troy's Point. There's Stavalots. These are all the places you're used to seeing. Feel some... Yeah, we're still way back here. The the uh, the scale on this map takes a little, little getting used to for me. I'm the bulge game. I've the bulge games I've played have all been uh, a lot larger um, in terms of um, scale. All right, so we can't attack, but we are threatening to cut them off, which is, of course, exactly what we want to do. So let's get you over here. You guys will follow. Um, that's a regular... Th let's... Um, Hit, no, you can't do it. You can. Let's hit him with some good stuff here. There you go. That should beat him up a little bit. Ooh, look at the Nebelwerfers. Yeah, not look, but listen. Nice. I love that sound. And now, my friends, now we shall attack. Six to one. Eight to one. 
Nice. We killed 90 vets, if I've got that right. Yeah. 10 green. Oof. Retreated 250. That's not bad. They held their ground? Or, no, they actually retreated one hex, which is good. Let's see if we can stonk these guys again. Stomp them into the ground. Two to one. Three to one. Five to one. Now let's see what happens if I throw that in. Fourteen to one. Beautiful. Tearing them up, tearing them up, tearing them up. So he's definitely surrounded and just... That's a ranged attack. I don't even want to bother with it. Um, waiting to die, so... Yeah, all right. So the Americans up here seem to me to be in a bit of a bad way, I would say. It's just my opinion. But I think I'm right. Let's move the HQ right up here. Regular attack, one-to-one -one odds. I'm going to do it. Normally, I would never do that, but in this case, because I'm attacking uh, artillery, I thought it might be worth the risk. Four to one. Beautiful. Let's see. Hmm. Well, I got some, I got some howitzers, so, ooh, I did more than that. Look at that. I pushed him back, so, beautiful. You can't move. You can, oddly enough. So, the motorized SS <laughs> can't go forward, but those guys can. Whatever. Whatever works. Look at this. These guys are going for it, man. Uh, here, come up here. Yeah, we'll open that up. hes I don't think he's going anywhere, and if he tries to, well, I don't think he'll get too far. All right, so now the question is, should I try to drive down through here or come over here and maybe even, like, pocket them? Blam, I did it. <laughs> I'm going to pull back, though, just a little bit for protection. But essentially now all of this is cut off at least for one turn from supply. So that's a good thing for us. Um, yeah. Um, well... Knights down there. I think we'll just come down here. Give a little support there. These guys are in trouble. Um, sure, why not? Might as well beat them up a little bit. But I think that's pretty good for this turn. Um... Yeah, these are the pioneers, which probably could fix a bridge if they were up there close enough. Really? All right. We'll send them up. That's flack. We'll just keep them here with the HQ, I think. And more pioneers. Um, there's the Loshin Gap, which we have blown through. And that's good. That's what we wanted to do. Don't want to get caught there. But that's a weird looking map symbols, isn't it? With the little dots there. I'm not sure what the heck that's supposed to be. But uh, whatever. Oh, 
Okay, I guess. Oh, well, they've got to meet to this. Must be like uh, trenches with strong points, bunkers, things like that. There, it's, I guess. Um, okay, so yeah. All right, so that's what it looks like in an overview. Kind of interesting. Uh, I never looked at my cards, though, so let's look at our cards before I go. we got another grief team that can go. Um, I think at this point we don't really... Ah, oh, repair bridge. Okay. Um... Which hex is it? I can't even tell at this scale. Let me zoom in. Cannot play card. Well, okay. We'll try some other thing. We don't need that. Let's see if they'll oh they'll let me play this. Yes. Now look at this. Maybe I should try it down here, a little closer to St. Vith or up here. I'm sort of, kind of getting close. But we have a long way to go. And Lord knows how many reinforcements from the uh, Allies will get there. It looks like if this is the map, then... Yeah, we're, we're about halfway across the map at this point, roughly. Not quite, actually. Um... Yeah, let's do it. Mission has been launched. Alrighty then. So that would be right there. Right near, ooh, 170 engineers. Oh boy. And these guys are 30. There's 30 of them with the Jeep. Yeah. Don't know that that was the best place to put them or not, but anyway, they can move a little. Quite a bit, actually. Um, should I move them? I mean, the closer you get to St. Vith, the more troops there's going to be, right? Go! Oh. Apparently, that's right. But we can still. Don't! Oh. That's it. No more movement. <laughs> Dang it. Well, let's... Come on. Da. All right. All right, so we've kind of messed up this little stretch of road here. We're very close to St. Vith, which, of course, is a critical... The critical juncture in the northern part of the bulge. And, uh, all right, let's go ahead and let the AI roll. See what they've got for us. Here come the Jabos. No big surprise there, but not a thrill either. Okay, they're pulling back, at least in some spots. Right down there, where my poor grief team is. <laughs> my grief team will come to grief very soon, I predict. So it looks like, ooh. It looks like they may be starting to pull back and try to set up a defense around St. Vith, which would be... Fairly historically accurate. Oh, they're trying to break out of there and there. They're moving this turn. Well, last turn they didn't really, if I remember right, they didn't move at all. So apparently they woke up. And I don't know if there's some rule that keeps the U.S. troops mostly in place for a turn or two because of the whole shock of the events that happened to them. That could be. I don't recall reading anything about that, but that could be. Okay, so it's still going to be... We're going to be freezing our butts off all day long. And let's take a look. I've got 28 points. We get nine extra VPs because of Cassidy, so that's 37, and I need 100. So we got a long way to go. We're a little over a third of the way there. Axes, losses. I've lost quite a bit of Volksgrenadiers. And also, I don't know. Oh, I guess that's what they're armed with, the KD-8s and the SIGs, I guess. Um, let's see, 70 Nachtruppen. Fallschirmjägers. Okay, lost some of those. Eight, 14 81 millimeter mortars, wow. Six 75 packs, that's a little... Six Panthers, really, yikes. Four 120s. 
two Panzer IV L-48s, two Stugs. <gasps> no more Stug life for them. One Tiger II. Bummer. Probably got stuck in the mud. Allied losses, 1,010 green GIs, 830 veteran GIs, 269 trucks. Wow. 72 60-millimeter mortar. Gee, many Christmas. 41 M8 Greyhounds. 34 81-millimeter mortars. Wow. 27 76-millimeter anti-tank guns. 26 Stuarts. 22 57-millimeter anti-tank guns. 18 howitzers. 16 M8 Scott. Whoa. That's a lot of stuff there, people. That's a lot of stuff. So, and this is a night turn now. Darn it. Night turns slow you way down. There's the date. It's September. I'm sorry, September. Hello. December 17th, 1944. This is where we'll pick up next time. I don't really have a chance to do much more than this this turn. So, I think a turn... Um, one turn per video is not bad. If I could squeeze two in, I'd do it. But at this point, I can't move that fast. So let's take a few minutes just to look things over and see what we can see. Um, yeah, they've pulled out of their entrenched positions here. And seeing them, though, is uh, seeing them is going to be interesting because it's nighttime. So we can see here we can see a couple of them. Don't even know what who that is, but we know he's there. So they're trying to get out somehow. So that's that's good. I'm glad to see that. That's very interesting. Um, and then, of course, all this here it looks like they have largely pulled out down here in the south, big time. But where they went, they could be two hexes away, and you wouldn't see them. Uh, but there's Saint Vith and my. Where's my grief team? Did it come to grief already? <laughs> yeah, apparently it did. Okay, well, you know, it was kind of a suicide job anyway, guys. So good, good work. Um, trying to see what else is down here. Past St. Vic. It goes a long way. Holy crap. Um, longer than I thought, actually. Okay. Well, we got a long way to go, and we'll see how things go next time. So until then, this is the Wargaming Guy. Thanks so much for watching, everybody. Really appreciate it. Take care out there, and I will see you later.